All right, a day of indecision. We see we had pretty much no movement today. If I go down to like, let's say a 30 minute chart, uh, you can see it's pretty much sideways. So again, this is not really giving much. Remember the open is around, it's 9.30. So again, it's moved you know, from almost 70 to uh, 52. So again, if you're intraday trading, you might like the action if you're looking at a small time frame. But as far as seeing follow through that you wanted on the daily aspect, that's something that you didn't see as of today. So again, it's still going and you still have to respect the trend so far. Uh, again, with a big day yesterday, you would like to see, uh, you know, some significant follow through, but that could happen tomorrow. It doesn't mean that, uh, again, the volume wasn't lighter. It was stronger, but um, we just have to see how this one plays out. And uh, you don't want to chase anything. You just want to make sure you're getting good entries. Uh, the, the NQ looked a little bit better regarding how it moved. Again, it was it's a pretty tight day for most of the day. Again, it had some turns around 10, 11, and 3. But um, it, was, it wasn't, you know, the typical movement uh, of what typically goes on to, to, for, the, for the futures markets. Again, you have another, again, Dow names not going to really move that much. Uh, I did cut the CLR at pretty much break even. I probably lost a little bit. Uh, only reason because the options were so bad. And that's something that I should have seen prior to putting the trade on. Two things were wrong, actually. And this is something probably lessons learned from uh, the, the option spread between the bid and the ask was like a dollar. And those people were like, oh, shit. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I lost my head. Maybe I had like a foggy thing going on. And the volume wasn't that good either. So the reason why I got out is, and at break even, not saying the trade looks broken, but more so because if it went against me, I'll probably take a bigger loss than I expected because the spreads are so wide. So I, I've completely deep deleted that one and I figured that uh, this happens sometimes um, and it could probably be a lesson learned for people as well. But uh, name looking good, Apple, wow. I didn't think it was gonna continue that much. Again, I probably would have peeled here and lost a lot of this or try to just roll your stop up. But again, from that gap up, it, it's moving strong. Uh, you got Amazon. <clears throat> Amazon is moving as well. I mean, you know, I would expect some type of pullback on that one, but it's not going to be guaranteed. Uh, you got um, American Express. Hopefully, I could get a break of a low and continue to the downside. My stop is probably within probably 50 cents. So if it gaps up and gets me, so be it. You know, and I'm also in Procter and Gamble. Uh, that one looks okay. It was looking okay today. So again, a break of a low would actually be a good thing. Uh, moving down in the pattern to, to get near my uh, my target. Uh, you have Tesla, Tesla miss earnings. Again, I wanted to short here, but I don't, I like to swing trade. So I would prefer to have more time in the trade to do this versus I'll let this one set up for probably another one, uh, another trade. If it, if it gives me a lower high, I, can, I will possibly take it. I'm not sure. Um, GoPro still hates itself. I don't know why you would do that to yourself. Baba still hates itself uh there were some names that i saw that broke that gave me sell signals but i didn't take it because it was just in certain times and I, this is one of them cat um cat i was looking at a break here but i said you know what? i'm just gonna just hold tight a little bit um and see how things go uh google let me put the right one on there google Google, again, is still just very, very sideways right now since earnings. Earnings pop here has just been in a pretty tight range of probably like 13 to 14 points. So, again, uh, um, $13. I would, I would just let it be. Let it be uh, until it gives clear direction. Uh, who else did I have here? Uh, Twitter. Uh, so, Twitter, we see that we're getting pretty much, you know, this would be definitely what some people consider a tight flag. Uh, the flagpole being here and this would be what people would consider a flag so this could have maybe some upward potential again i don't trade breakouts but again the sell the buy signal would have been today your stop has to be pretty much below that so uh you know just play it by air and again we're still in kind of uncertain territory so you know you don't have to go super heavy regarding um your name I already did the GoPro. Uh, I wanted to look at uh, I'm in USO as well, so that's one still looks like I, I still think we have a lot lower to go. I think we still have 41 to 38, even 33 on on oil on crude. So, and I'm not worried about the inventory report that was today because the inventory report is more so for it's weekly, 
and um, it's for if I was intraday trading it versus me swing trading it. So that's why I didn't really look. Somebody commented on a video yesterday, so I just wanted to kind of explain myself on why I wasn't too, you know, I'm swing trading stuff for weeks at, at a time, so that's, that's something I really wasn't going to really pay attention to. Um, price line is still in a broken, not broken, in the downtrend. I wouldn't say broken. Uh, GoPro and Baba look more broken than that. Uh, price line is still just giving low highs. So again, just trade the trend. Identify the trend. You trade the trend. The trend will bail you out more than more than anything. Even if you have a shitty trade, if you're in the right trend, sometimes you get bailed out. We're like, oh, that didn't look good, but it was still on a downtrend, so it still flushed me out, uh, or still got to my target. So that's stuff, and we got to see how this one plays out. Again, uh, still looking at these E minis. Um, see where it goes and where it opens tomorrow uh, and go from there. All right, take care.